everyone. Happy Saturday. Thanks for watching the replay. If you are watching the replay, please type replay. If you're watching me live, please say hello. Um, I always get excited to see who's on. Okay, really quickly, I am going to go ahead and share this to my VIP group. If you are not in my VIP group, you need to be. You know why? Because that's where I have all of my um, bundles, sales, deals, giveaways, um, all kinds of fun stuff. That's where it's at. So if you are not in that group, you're not going to see that stuff. So um, you really want to be in there because that's where all the good stuff happens. So I'm going to share that there right now. So you will be able to see these videos in that group as well. Um, and then I usually share it with my personal page so that my friends and family can see what I'm up to. Um, Cause I like to share that with them. And sometimes they join my VIP group. <laughs> so, um, okay, so now that that's done, um, first of all, I wanted to mention that later on this afternoon, I am going to go live and I'm going to talk about um, Happy Mail. And if you don't know what Happy Mail is, then you should join my live video. Um, I don't have a set time for it because I have a baby, so I never know exactly when I'm gonna be able to get on, but as soon as I can figure that out, that's why I just say this afternoon, um, as soon as I can figure out when I can um, definitely go on, I will post the actual time um, for y'all. Um, but it's gonna be good, it's gonna be fun. Okay, um, and today I am doing, I don't think I've showed you guys our vintage truck yet and it's actually one of my favorites so I'm surprised that I haven't um, let me get this set up so that you guys can see uh, bloop. yeah let's get me over here and there we are okay so our vintage truck is awesome and I'm gonna tell you why it's awesome this is also, real quick, this is our um, uh, box frame. I can't think. Um, the cool part about the box frame is that you can chalk on both sides. So um, you can chalk here or you can flip her over and you can chalk on this side as well. But we're going to chalk on here today. Um, so the cool thing that I like about our vintage truck, so it comes in two parts like this. You have the top of the truck with all the details on it, and then you have this part, which gives your truck some color. So today, I am going to do a yellow truck. Um, I'm gonna do a yellow truck, and I'm just gonna do the outline in black. I'm really hoping that that looks cool. So if you think that that's gonna look terrible, please comment below before I screw it up. Um, and so the cool thing about our vintage truck is we always have um, what we call vintage truck add-ons. Um, and what that is, is there's different sheets um, that based on seasons go with the truck. So you have your truck and for instance, today I'm going to make one that we can put, we're going to put um, like a, a basket of apples in the back of the truck. You see that? How cute is that? So, um, and then it, it comes with, it's a huge sheet, so it comes with a bunch of different stuff. This transfer came with apples, it came with pumpkins, I think, um, uh, hay bales, and I think something else. But yeah, so it's got different add-ons, and then so not only does it have the stuff that you can put in the back of the truck, it also has like different, um, <laughs> Hi, Mom. Are you with my mom? <laughs> um, hey, Sarah, how are you? 
Yes, you have to do the, the vintage truck. I love it. So, um, so and it also comes with like different sayings. Like it comes with, this one has farmer's market, fresh local produce. It also has um, different words that say like corn maze. Um, uh, what else is on there? Um, apple, apple picking, I think. I don't know. It's got different like sayings. It's got different stuff for the back of the truck. So we also have an add-on for, there's a spring add-on which puts like flowers in the back of the truck and um, I can't remember what else is on that one. Um, maybe hearts. Oh, you're at my mom's house? Are you guys watching? Hi mom. I think this is the first time my mom has seen me live. Um, so mom, I go live every morning with my coffee and I make pretty projects. So um, this is awesome. Give me one second though, my baby girl, oh no, I think she's okay. She's in her swing, so if she fusses, I gotta, I gotta fix her. Um, okay, so yeah, so there's a spring one, and so it's got, um, there's also one for like Valentine's Day, um, it's got, you can put like a bunch of hearts in the back, um, for, uh, what is it, uh, St. Patrick's Day, you can put a bunch of clovers in the back. Um, oh, there's a winter one where you can put snowboards in the back, um, and it comes with sayings that say like, I'd rather be snowboarding, um, stuff like that. So, so I love the vintage truck because you can really like, there's so many different things that you can do with it, um, and switch it up. If you do this like on a chalkboard, you can definitely like switch up for the seasons, the, um, the back of it. Something cool that I've seen someone do is make the truck permanent. So that when you, um, oh, thanks mom. <laughs> um, when you, um, so make the truck permanent so that for the different seasons, you can just wipe off the, whatever's in the back of the truck and put something seasonal in there. Um, hang on a minute. Baby girl is fussing. Here you go. Thank you. There you go. Yeah. So sorry about that. She, um, her swing, the batteries are dead. I need to put new batteries in it, so I have to like manually push her. Um, okay, so let's get started. Like I said, I'm gonna do the truck today in black, and I'm going to do um, the main color of the truck in yellow. If you think that's gonna look terrible, please tell me now. <laughs> please comment below and tell me now. Um, so that's my plan for that. And then we've got um, the color bark for our baskets. Oh, hang on one second. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Woo! Okay, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, and then we've got red for the apples. Um, we've got green for the little stems on the apples. And then I'm gonna use this like, kind of like burnt orange. It's called pumpkin pie. Um, but I'm going to use that for our top of the sign that's going to say Farmer's Market Fresh Local Produce, okay? So, I have already labeled all the backs of my um, transfers. Uh, the reason why I label them is so that I remember which goes back. Um, teal and black for the, for the truck. Okay. Now I'm second guessing myself because... Um, is that gonna go with this though? Like the rest of these colors though? Take the yellow out. If I do teal, and then I've got the apples in the truck. Uh, teal, okay, you guys are saying teal. All right, let me get teal. Okay, so now um, what I need is a confirmation on which one. Should we do like a dark? Um, this is more blue, less teal, but uh, maybe blue and black. So everyone wants blue and black? Okay, fine. So no yellow then. Um, so this is couture teal. Um, so should we do this with the black? And then we've got the apples and all that in the back of the truck. I feel like I should do a brighter green then too. Oh, you guys, are, yeah, she said yes. Which one, the, the darker blue or the, the teal blue? Um, this is teal. This is, well, this is called peacock, but I love this one. Um, okay, so tell me which blue I should do with the truck. Because um, that has to go on first, the color. So, and I need to make sure 
Okay, that needs to be like that. So the darker blue, midnight blue, midnight blue, dark blue. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to go ahead and put this guy on here like so. Look how easy and fun this is. Okay, so this is on here. I'm gonna use this to make sure that there's no air bubbles. I do like this um, teal blue, the peacock, the dark one. Okay, so we're gonna do the dark one. We're gonna do that for mom because it's her first time being live, seeing me live. Okay, so I like using this tool to make sure we got all our air bubbles out. Um, so we're gonna go ahead with the blue. So let me know if I should change any of these other colors then while we're at it. Um, let me make sure this guy is stirred up and ready to go. It should be. Sometimes you gotta stir the paste up because um, sometimes they can get dry, especially um, like this one because I'm at the bottom of it. So um, sometimes it can get a little bit dry and all you do is just spray a little bit of water in it and mix it up and it's all good. Okay, so we're good there. All right, let's go ahead and so yeah, let me know if I should change any of these other colors because now I'm like wondering if these other colors are gonna match um, because I do have, do I have it? I thought I did. Let me check really quick. I don't see it. I thought I had another red color that was like less red. <laughs> Is this it? No. Mm, that's not it either. Either is that. Okay. Anyhow, so let me know if you guys think the rest of these colors are going to go um, or if I should change any of that up now that we're doing blue instead of yellow. So, yeah, let me know. Um, darker teal. Okay, good. Everyone's on board with the dark teal. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Okay, so I'm going to take one of my little squeegees here and I'm going to go ahead and get this on here. So all we have to do is cover the transfer, like so. And if you put too much ink on it, that's okay. Sometimes too much is better because you're just gonna scrape off your excess anyways. And so you want the whole thing to be covered. So, so here we go. We're covering the whole transfer. Ah. And then we're gonna go ahead and scrape off our excess and put it back in the jar. So anything extra, you guys can hear my um, baby girl in the background. She is so chatty. Well, chatty Kathy. I think she got that from me. <laughs> but okay, so we're scraping off all the excess, putting it back into our jar. So this is another reason why these jars last so long is because you really don't need that much paint. So you really just put it on there and then you're scraping it off. So okay. Oh man, she is funny. Um, okay, so looks like we're good here. I can go ahead and peel this off. So we are going to do what I like to call peel and reveal. Also like to use these handy little wet wipes are handy to because I am a messy painter. So we are going to go ahead. Let me make sure I don't have paint all over me so I don't get it all over everything. Um, yeah, <laughs> you can totally hear my baby just talking, so, um, yes, Jerry, yes, do you hear her? She is so talkative. Okay, <laughs> it's so funny that you can hear her. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and peel this off and take a look at that. All right, so that is our blue part of the truck. And I just need to fix this. I got a little bit of paint on the side here. Um, so I'm just gonna wipe that off. And the awesome thing is, is that it wipes off. Okay, let me get a clean one. Um, the other awesome thing is that if you make a mistake, you can literally just wipe it off. So that is what we are doing right now because I've got a little bit of blue that got, that I kind of just 
Ugh. got where I don't want it. Okay, so you can either use wet wipes, which is awesome, or I also like to use um, Q-tips if I'm trying to get um, something in a smaller area. So, so like this, it looks like I got I messed up a little bit here. So again, like I say, the cool thing about this product is that if you mess up, you can clean it up. Um, you're not stuck. So we're going to clean this up a little bit, fix that. And then since we're doing a layering transfer, what we've got to do is um, make sure that each layer is dry before we continue on. And the way that I do that is I have a heat gun that I dry each layer with, but um, you can use a regular blow dryer. So um, don't fret about that if you think you need that, because you don't. Okay, so I cleaned that up a little bit. So now we're gonna take the heat gun and we are going to dry it. And the chalk paste uh, dries really quickly. So you don't really have to hold the heat gun over it too long. Dries fairly quickly. Okay, so we're all dry. Now what we're going to do is we are going to put on the detailed portion of the truck. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. Okay. Um, yes, she is chatty. Um, okay, so now we're going to go in with black. Our black is all ready to go. Oops as I drop my squeegee in it. Oh my goodness, I'm such a mess. <laughs> Seriously, what is wrong with me? Um, I, listen to her. Hey, Miss Ella. Hey. She thinks she's being funny. Okay, so. All right, let's put our the other portion of our truck on. So now that it's dry, we can place the other part of the truck on. So we just want to line it up as best we can. Looking good. Looking good. All right, so now we got our truck lined up how we want it. There's a little bit of something stuck under there. Like I said, make sure you get all the air bubbles out. If you feel something un got stuck underneath, like, I don't know, a hair or a piece of lint or something, make sure you get that out so that you don't, um, uh, so your paint doesn't bleed. So, okay. So we are good here. Okay. So now, I'm gonna go in with my black, which I kinda got all over the place already. So, I'm gonna go in with black. All right, here we go. Okay. So yeah, I just need to make sure I cover all of the parts of the transfer that are white. Anything that where the ink is gonna go through. Have you guys decided if I should change any of the other colors out or should I just go with what I got even though we decided on a blue truck? Let me know what you guys think. 
Okay, almost done here. So now I'm just scraping off my excess and moving it over here. You can kind of spread the ink around, which is helpful. So up here. Okay. The colors should look great together. Okay, awesome. Thank you guys for your input because I was a little bit worried. I get a little bit undecisive when it comes to the colors sometimes. Um, okay, so yeah, so now I'm just scraping off excess, making sure everything is covered, and then we're going to go ahead and do our peel and reveal. Scraping the excess back into the jar. All right, we are good. All right, now I'm gonna show you what it looks like when you're layering colors like this. I need another towel. I don't know why I'm so messy this morning, seriously. But what I did was I bought like a bunch of towels um, from, what do you call it, like the dollar store. So I got like a ton of towels for like a dollar. <laughs> so I don't care if I get ink all over them. All right, so this is what our truck is looking like. Good call on the blue. I'm a fan. All right, thanks mom. Love the blue. It looks great. So yeah, so look how cool that is. So from layering those, this is the vintage truck. So the vintage truck comes by itself. Um, and then, like I said, you can do all the add-ons. So even if you just get the vintage truck, how cool is that? So yeah, look at that. And you can put what other, you know, other sayings, there's tons of other sayings that you could totally put on top or anything, but um, okay, we are going to, man, I got a little bit of paint on the edge here. But luckily, it just wipes right off. Okay. And I got some here too. What is wrong with me? Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make sure this guy is dry. Yeah, mom, the, the vintage truck is so cool, right? Um, and the blue turned out perfect, so thank you, because I was gonna make it yellow. So, okay, so now that it's dry, and like I said, the chalk dries really fast, um, you just need to run it over the, um, really quickly. If you don't have a heat gun, don't worry about that because you can use a hair dryer. Um, but you can see how fast it dries because it you'll see it wet, and when you run over it with the heat, um, you'll see it turn kind of like a mat, so that, shows you it's drying okay so now I'm going to go in here and I'm gonna do our um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the farmers market on here um, so what color did we decide on that um, I was going to do it orange should I still go with the orange so that's what we're going with um, let me peel this guy off and again if this is your first time watching these are reusable so when I'm finished with this I just um, rinse them off and have them hang them to dry and then once they're dry I put them back on their backing and I can do another project so that's what's so awesome about this stuff is that um, you can continuously make projects um, which I love. It's not like a one and done kind of thing. Um, so, all right, we're going in with the orange, so no turning back. <laughs> okay, so I am going to go in with this orange. It's like a burnt orange color. Go ahead and take that squeegee out. And I like to have multiple squeegees for each color because 
then I can just clean up um, things black for farmers market okay should I do fresh local produce in orange then because I feel like maybe that's too much black or maybe not fresh local produce yeah should I do that in in orange or do that in black too black for farmers market all right so we're not doing orange we're going with what mom's saying okay we're doing we're doing this how mom wants it today okay so we I'm pulling the black back out okay so yes so orange for the produce all right so we're going in with our black on farmers market um, what I was saying before is that I like to have squeegees for um, each color um, so that I don't have to clean them as I'm doing a project. I can clean a bunch of the squeegees at the end instead of as I go, but that's just the way I like to do it. Um, and the squeegees are like really cheap too, so it's, it's, um, it's a nice to have. Um, if you guys ever want to try this, um, again, join my VIP group because I have um, sample kits that I that I um, sell. So if you just wanted to try it and you you know weren't ready to like buy a bundle or anything like that, or you can even buy a bundle to try it because you get a small board, a small transfer, and the paste that you need to do your project. So that's a good try thing too. Um, that's a good uh, option to try. So definitely join my VIP group because I have bundles and I have um, sample kits and I also have new accessory kits that I'm putting together. And the accessory kits are a good complement to anything that, look at that, all right. So we are doing awesome. Look at how the farmer's market turned out. And now again, I could totally just leave this like this, but I'm gonna add the apples and all that stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna dry this really quickly because when I put my fresh local produce on, it um, the transfer is gonna overlap this black ink a little bit. So I just wanna make sure that um, I'm not going to ruin what we've already done here. And again, the cool thing is, is that you can, um, if I messed up, like you saw me down here, I can clean it up. Um, or if I messed up, I can also um, have it dry and then put the transfer back over top of it and, and clean it up that way as well. Okay. Coffee. Okay, now we're gonna go in here with the fresh local produce. We're gonna do that in orange like y'all have suggested. So now I just need to line it up. Okay. So this looks like it's gonna overlap a little bit, but you know what? That's okay. I wonder If I should do the apples first so that the fresh local produce is on top of the apples let's do that um, because it looks like it's gonna overlap a little bit so what I'm it's not gonna look bad overlapped it's just I want to make sure I put the stuff in the right order okay so I'm gonna go in here with this guy with the basket of apples I need my multi-tool Okay, we're going to position this basket of apples on here. Like so. I could have moved the truck down a little bit further. That's what I should have done to maximize my space, but that's okay. We're still good. 
Okay, so I'm gonna use my multi-tool. I love this tool because it helps me get into the details. Um, so because the baskets are so small and the leaves are so small, I'm, I'm gonna use this tool. It's, it makes it easier. So, she is talking, talking up a storm. Okay, so it looks like I might be frozen. Hopefully that fixes itself because otherwise that's super annoying. Okay, so we're doing the basket right now. And like I said, the multi-tool is awesome for getting into small places like this. Okay, so let me scrape off the excess. <sighs> Exercising her voice. Yes, she is. Hey, baby. I'm gonna throw some green on here for these leaves. Or not leaves, but you know what I mean, like the stems for the apples. Yeah, she really is this morning. But I guess that's good, right? So let's get this. And then we'll peel this off and then I think I'm going to try to see what's going on. It looks like I'm frozen. Can someone confirm, am I frozen or am I moving on your end? Um, let me know if you can still see me painting because on my end it's showing that I'm frozen. So let me know what is going on there. Anybody, am I frozen? Am I not frozen? Told you, I gotta keep uh, moving that swing. Okay, so let me see if I can fix it. I'm frozen. Okay, so I am going to see if I can fix us. So let's see. Let's go back. Let's. Oops. Okay. So. Okay. So let me fix this really quickly. You know, I need to figure out if I can um, make it so that like I don't get phone calls during this because that's basically what happened. I got a phone call and um, that's why we got frozen. Um, okay, so let me quickly fix this for us. No, I want, no, I want that. Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay, are we back? Tell me that we're back. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I got a phone call, it looks like. So whoever called me, ah! Okay, so you can see I did, while I was frozen, I did the basket with the little leaves and I used my multi-tool because um, it works out awesome for, um, uh, what do you call it? small details <laughs> um, and a uh, little secret um, anyone that places an order this month um, before the 15th is gonna get a free multi-tool so this is this is pretty awesome 
uh, I use this all the time. I actually have two because I use it so much. Okay, moving on. So now let me make sure that this is dry because we're gonna lay the apples over top. Okay, awesome, Sarah, thanks for confirming that. Okay, so now that that's dry, we can go ahead and put our apples on. Um, and we wanna do the best that we can to line these up with um, the baskets and the little leaves. So yeah, so if I line it up with the baskets, I wanna make sure that the little leaves are covered because then that tells me that it's lined up. Okay, looking pretty good. And you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so there we are there. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our red, and again, we're gonna use a multi-tool because these apples are small, and I just wanna make sure that I don't get um, too much ink all over the place. So, here we go. Going in here. She probably wants me to push that swing again. Um, I really need to fix the batteries or change out the batteries for it so that I don't have to swing it with my, <laughs> I don't have to keep pushing her. Okay, so there we are. Let me quickly scrape off any excess paste. Okay, looks good. Looks like we scraped up all the excess. Let me go over it one more time just to make sure. Okay, now we can peel and reveal our apples. Hey. How cute are those apples? Look at the apples. Okay, so let me dry those really quick. Okay, let me push her swing. There you go. <laughs> okay, so now that that's dry, um, we're going to go ahead and do our fresh local produce. Now, again, I could probably just leave it like this. It looks good as is. Hmm. Should I put the fresh local produce or should I leave it off? So we would be adding it here. What do you guys think? It's going to um, lay, it's going to um, overlap the apples a little bit, which I don't think is a bad thing. I think that that still looks, I think that looks cool. Um, but what do you guys think? Fresh local produce or leave it? Fresh local produce or leave it. <laughs> so yeah, if I did it, I'm gonna put it so that it overlaps the F from Farmer's Market a little bit. It's gonna overlap our apples and it's gonna sit right on top of our truck. So this is how I'm gonna do this. Leave it off. Okay, I'm being told to leave it off. So we're leaving it off. All right, so I guess that finishes our project then. Um, so this is what we made. Thanks guys. It's beautiful like it is. Thank you. Okay. Awesome. So again, you saw how easy that was to make. Um, and I love the vintage truck because like I said, you can change out what you put in the back of it. There's so many different add-ons for it. Super cool. Um, I will be posting a picture of our finished product. Um, thank you guys for all your input today on all the colors and everything. That was super helpful. Um, here is a close-up of our design from today. Yay! Awesome. Thank you guys so much. Also, don't forget to get into my VIP group so that you can um, get in on that uh, 
giveaway for the free gift for um, making a purchase before the 15th. And um, mom loves it. Send it to her. Ooh, maybe mom will be getting a present. <laughs> okay. Okay, you guys. Um, uh, and also, don't forget, I also have the accessory kits and the sample kits that I am selling now on my VIP page. So again, get on my VIP page because all the fun stuff is over there. But thank you guys for joining me this morning. Really appreciate it. Can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. All right. Have a wonderful Saturday.